Hmm. Do I wear this one? I love it. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to sweat in it. I could always add a long sleeve shirt underneath for when it gets cold. I think it's so cute, but I kind of want to wear this one. OMG, I love this. Okay, love this. However, I'm definitely gonna sweat in this doing my purse sale video. So this definitely has to be for a night out, a day out. This could double as a jacket. I can wear it open with a tank top underneath. Multiple colors available, oh my gosh. Okay, I love both, but for the purse video, we're doing the sleeveless. You can find all of these links, including my jewelry, down in the comment section after all the sold and pending list. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, it's purse sale Friday. Hi guys, I'm Kristen with another chance resale, and it's purse sale Friday. We have a clearance section. I say we, I mean me. <laughs> we have uh, shoes and we also have an America's Thrift Supply purse supply box. I also got one of the build your own bundle boxes. So I'm going to be showing that next week. So make sure you are subscribed and the bell is clicked to all. So you'll be notified when that video comes out. Now, first things first. Let's put up the ordering instructions. Okay, so make sure you're following the ordering instructions very carefully, okay? So that is how you place an order for something you see in this video that you would like to purchase. First up, we're starting with the clearance section. Those are the purses from last week that didn't sell, so we're gonna drop the price today in hopes to find them a new home. First one up is Liebeskind. This is a beautiful, large, black leather shoulder bag or crossbody bag. The crossbody strap is adjustable and removable. The um, leather is uh, distressed, it has like a distressed, cracked kind of look to it, but it is conditioned and in very good condition. You have the Liebeskind, um name right there along with a front pocket with a snap. All right, bottom and corners, excellent. Okay, inside is a zip closure. It has antiqued gold tone hardware. It opens up to one compartment. And inside, you do have a little bit of staining, but it is um, very minor. So you have a slip with the branding, a zip, you have some staining along the top here on both sides and then some staining down in there. I did clean this out as best I could. Those stains are not budging. So, oh, you also have two zips here in the front. All right, so for the large black leather Liebeskind with a distressed leather, uh, number one, we're dropping this down to 40 bucks, you guys, 40 bucks. Next up, we had the Kate Spade. I'm shocked nobody snagged this. This is gorgeous. This is like a um, beige pebbled leather backpack or purse backpack. It is a smaller size backpack. It is a leather, pebbled leather, gold tone hardware, fully adjustable straps. It is in excellent condition. There is just the teeniest itty bit of rub to the corners. You can hardly notice it. The um, inside is a flap. You have a drawstring closure and a snap closure. The inside is one compartment. It comes with your paperwork, branding zip, and no slips. Interior is clean. Exterior just has those two, just a little bit of rub on the corners. It is going to be number two for the beige pebbled leather Kate Spade backpack, $45.
Next up, we had the black Kate Spade crossbody bag in a patent leather. This is crossbody, will stay crossbody, cannot adjust or remove. Gold tone chain detail on the strap. This is in excellent condition. I think I'm a little far away. Let me bring you guys in a little bit. There's your Kate Spade on the front with the bow. It's a textured patent leather. No exterior pockets. Excellent condition. Oh, sorry, there is one on the front. Excellent condition. Inside is a zipper closure to one compartment. You have the zip, the Kate Spade spade, and the slip. So excellent condition all the way around. Kate Spade black patent leather crossbody number three, $40. Then we had the Lola Bernard. This is a large shoulder bag in a um, leather and suede croc print. It is textured. It is large and in charge. The handle cannot be adjusted, but it is a nice, substantial black pebbled leather. Bottom and corners are excellent. It has feet. The back has a zipper pocket. It is in excellent condition. It is gold tone hardware. You have the top zip closure, opens up to one compartment. And inside you have your branding with your slips and a zipper pocket. Clean inside and clean outside. Number four, Lola Bernard, $40. Beautiful. Next up, we had the Hobo International in black leather. This is a um, shoulder bag, will stay shoulder bag. It will be a little bit slouchy depending on how much you fill it. This has kind of a distressed crackled leather like the Liebeskind but it is conditioned and in excellent condition. You have a front little pocket here, nothing on the back. You have a side zip, silver tone hardware, excellent condition, bottom and corners. Handles for the shoulder are in excellent condition. Zip on top opens to one compartment. And then you have your Hobo International branding, zip and slips, and more slips there. So really nice condition, black leather, Hobo International shoulder bag, number five, and we're dropping this down to only $35. Next up, we had the Margo. This is a black leather shoulder bag. This is kind of got the pebbled to it. You have the heat stamp Margo right there, along with a gold tone hang tag. One side, you have a slip pocket. It is in excellent condition, bottom and corners also. Um, you got the top straps for the shoulder, and the inside, you have three compartments. It snaps closed, and then you have three sections. So one section, has some slip pockets. The middle section is zipped and that has no pockets. And then the other section has your branding and zipper pocket. It is very clean on the inside. It smells a little bit like Febreze because I had to air it out. Number six, black leather Margot shoulder bag. $38. Then we had the Nuove Dive. It is Italian. It is a dark green leather shoulder bag, large size. Uh, you have a double shoulder handle that can be adjusted about an inch in each direction. Silver tone hardware. Same kind of crackled look to the leather as the Hobo and Liebeskind. You have two zipper pockets here in the front. Excellent condition, bottom and corners. 
Um, the, ins <clears throat> the inside has a zip closure that opens to one compartment. And then the inside you have your branding with your zipper pocket and slips. Clean interior, clean exterior, dark green leather, Nuove, Nuove, Nuove Dive, number seven. And this is going to be $35. And that wraps up the clearance section. So let me put up the ordering, ordering instructions and we'll move on to the thrifted purse section. Okay, first up is a beautiful Furla shoulder bag. You have your Furla hang tag in silver tone. You also have the Furla heat stamp along the top. One side is plain. One side has kind of like an embroidered design to it. The hardware says Furla. Just that one side. The handle is a beautiful black leather, like braided rope. Bottom and corners are excellent. It's such a soft leather. Beautiful shoulder bag. It's kind of like in a rounded shape. And then the inside you have a snap closure. One compartment. And on the inside, so the inside was very dirty. I had to do a like deep clean of the inside, but she came out beautiful. There's your branding, your zipper pocket, and no slips. But the inside does say furla all over. And I love the little ruching on the sides here. Such a soft leather, nice scrunchy bag. Furla, number eight. And we're gonna do this one for 68. So pretty. All right, next up we have the sack. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me unbox this. Um, I will also put my Instagram link down in the comments with the pending and sold list. I suggest following me over there because I show a lot that I don't show on YouTube. I show a lot of behind the scenes footage um, so check me out over there. I'll put the direct link in the comments. So this is the sack. This is green. This is a beautiful green color, a light green, not Kelly green or anything. Excellent condition, like a nice soft seafoam green, I think. Brown leather detailing, chunky hardware. You got your hang tag. It is a strict shoulder bag. You have a slip pocket in the back. Handles are in excellent condition. Zipper on the top opens to one compartment, which one side has your branding and zip, and the other side has your slip pockets. All right, gorgeous leather, the sack in this beautiful green Number nine, and we're gonna do this one for $40. Next up, I have two Cole Haan. The first one is number 10, which is a handbag. Um, now, I don't know if this is original to the bag or if somebody added it. I'm going to leave it. You can decide if you wanna keep it on or not. It's just like a multicolor tassel. Um, it's a beautiful beige croc embossed leather handbag. Um, it does not come with a shoulder or crossbody strap, but I think you can probably add one right here and to the back here if you wanted to add one. Um, but I don't think it's meant to have one, but um, you could if you want. Um, so it has beautiful gold tone hardware, Kolhan there and on all of the hardware back pocket, or this could be the front if you want to hold it that way. 
All right, so it's on all the hardware. Handles are in beautiful condition. Bottom and corners, excellent. All right, the inside you have three compartments. Back and front are zipped. Middle has the flap snap, okay? So we'll start from one side. It's a zip closure. And it's a blue interior with nothing in that pocket. Then you're coming into the snap section, which is your main compartment. And that has your branding, zip, and slips. And then the other zippered section has nothing. So beautiful handbag by Cole Hahn. You can add a strap if you would like to. Gorgeous beige leather, number 10, Cole Hahn, $48. If you don't like that one, I have this one. This is also Cole Hahn. This is a tan and, well, I would say this is more of like a darker beige. Darker beige, big pebbles, big pebbled leather, brown leather strap. Now, this one can be crossbody. Right now, it's set up to be a crossbody bag. Watch how cool this is. You take the two top pieces, pull them down, pull them, see how I'm pulling them? And then you snap the snaps into place, and it becomes a shoulder bag. So your choice, um, there is a hang tag, Cole Haan. Uh, silver tone hardware. There is a little bit of wear to the edge of the strap in that little spot. Not terrible. Um, let's see. One side has a little, little mark right in here. Um, bottom and corners are good. Other side where there's a pocket, there is a little mark right there. Okay, not terrible. Couple, couple things. All right, so that's the exterior. Kind of like a little bucket bag. Um, pull to the zipper on the top into one compartment. Clean inside, Cole Haan, zip, and leather card slot, and slips. All right, so nice two-tone Cole Haan with the hang tag. Um, and this one is number 11, and we're going to do it for 45. Next up we have number 12 is Coach. This one was mine. I am letting it go. I actually have two bags in this haul that are mine that I'm, I'm releasing. Um, I did buy this secondhand from another YouTuber. Um, I do like it. It's just... I only wore it once and I've had it for over a year. So it's time to get it out of my closet and into someone's hands who will wear it more often. So it is Coach. It has a gunmetal chain crossbody strap that is removable. You have the gunmetal C. This is blue. This is um, two-tone brown leather, all leather. You have a pocket on the back. It is in excellent condition. I take very good care of all my bags. Um, open it like so, you have a front pocket, and then you have the micro suede and it opens up like a little accordion. So in the back you have a slot, in here you have card slots, in here is a slot, in here is a zippered slot, and in here is where, is where your creed is, okay? So it does fit a phone. I used to carry my phone in here, no problem. With my wallet, I just have a card holder wallet, so it fits nice, nice. Um, so no problem there. There is some scratching right in here, but that was like that when I purchased it. So I am gonna do a good deal. I paid more. It's number 12. I'm gonna offer it to you for 45. I paid way more than that but 45 and let it go to a good home. Okay. Okay, next up we have another coach. This one is gold and beige. 
Um, somebody had asked what the name of this one was. I don't know. Uh, when I did the unboxing video, I'm not sure. I'm never good at the names of coach bags. There's just so many of them. I can't keep track. Um, but this is a larger one, as you can see next to my head. Oh, it goes really nicely with my outfit. So this one is um, beige and gold uh, jacquard, I think they call it, with the gold leather and gold tone hardware and strap, okay? There is no hang tag on this one, but I'm sure nobody will mistake it. It's definitely a coach. Um, there were a few tiny little spots. One, two, light one there. Um, one here. Okay, so a couple teeny little itty bitties. A little, little bit of darkening to the corners, not terrible. Everything's very minor, but I just like to show you guys. Uh, handle is in excellent condition. You have the zip on the top, which is great. It opens up to one compartment. And the inside is a beautiful pink. You have the slip, zip, creed, another zip and slips. Um, there is pen right down there in the middle and then on this in this corner in that corner um and then there was a little mark on the slip pocket right there all right but other than that she's good beautiful shoulder bag will stay shoulder unless you unclip this and elongate the strap with something um, so this is number 13, and we're going to do this coach for 45. Okay, here's another one that was mine. I did buy it from another YouTuber secondhand, just like the coach. Um, I don't reach for it. I've only worn it once. I know it's Kurt Geiger. That is my favorite brand to buy retail but I do buy with a coupon because they do give loyalty points. And I actually just bought a new Kurt Geiger with a $60 off coupon they gave me. <sighs> Anywho, I'm gonna let this one go. It is, um, what's this one called? The Shore something? The Shore Ditch. Um, it is a, it could be a crossbody. It has silver tone chain crossbody or double the handle to make it shoulder okay you have black leather Kurt Geiger with the silver eagle head silver zipper detail around pocket on the back this is cheetah print calf hair it is absolutely gorgeous cheetah print calf hair I just don't wear it enough. And like I said with the other one, I like things to be shown off and worn. So instead of sitting in my closet, I'd rather sell it to somebody that is going to wear it. Um, so the inside is the double heavy duty magnet shore ditch. And it has a um, slip pocket and like this little pocket here. Okay, it does fit a phone. Does fit a phone and a wallet and keys, no problem. Again, I I paid way more than what I'm gonna offer it for, but again, I want somebody to have it. Number 14, I'm gonna offer it for 65. I paid, I think I paid 90. So 65, number 14. All right, I'm gonna flip the page. And we're gonna start up here with Brahmin. I believe she's a vintage beauty. This is Brahmin, there's her hang tag. It is a brown croc embossed leather structured shoulder bag. She is not stuffed. She has long shoulder straps that can be adjusted with the holes here. Um, she's got brass hardware, got the hang tag, 
No exterior pockets. There is some wear to the corners, some light wear to the corners. See like how the difference in color there? Not terrible. There's the bottom. Handles have very, very light wear like on the edges. See how like the leather is a little bit lighter on the edges, but again, not terrible. She has a zipper on the top. The inside is one compartment with the suede, the micro suede. Brahmin there, zipper pocket there, slips and pen holder. Pretty clean interior for a, an, like a beige interior. So because of the uh, couple little areas of wear, I'm gonna do a really good deal on this one for you guys. Uh, number 15, and we're gonna do the Brahmin for $38. Grab her while you can. Beautiful vintage. All right, next up we have, this is probably one of my favorites. I always have a few. This is Vince Camuto. I absolutely love this bag. Can you guess why? The neon yellow. <laughs> so Vince Camuto, it is the same on both sides. You have the hang tag here. The strap is leather with the neon yellow. It is adjustable, but will stay crossbody. Um, this body is leather, perforated, so you can see the um, yellow underneath and fringe. Absolutely adore this one. It has silver tone hardware, zip on the top, into the main compartment. If this was smaller, I would have kept it, but it's too big for me. I can fit my entire life in here. <laughs> so the inside has your Vince Camuto lining with a zipper pocket and slips. I mean, I would probably say that this is in like new condition. I'm not sure anybody has even worn it but it is gorgeous. I whack myself in the face. It is number 16, and it is going to be $50, five zero. Gorgeous, I'm like in love with that. Okay, next up we have Betsy Johnson. New with tag and perfect for Halloween. This is a black faux leather tote shoulder bag. The other side of the strap is the, um, off-white skull and crossbones, along with a pouch, little little envelope pouch that is, um, you can take it off the front if you want and put it inside. Gold tone hardware still has the plastic on it. Slip pocket in the back. It is new with tag and in new condition. It has um, no closure. There's no closure on it. It does have a middle zip section. Back section has your branding with your zip. Then you have the middle zip. And then you have the other side that has slips. All right. The tag on this is $98. It is number 17. And I'm going to do it for 45. Okay. This is so cute. It's Jessica Simpson. I know it's not, you know, a fancy brand or anything, but I just thought it was so cute for the fall and winter. So Jessica Simpson, this is not leather. It's faux, but this is like a suede, like a faux suede with the metallic. And then you got the tan fur that is so soft. It is so soft, it's faux fur. You got the metallic, it's like a bronze, like a bronzy metallic shoulder straps. There is a little mark right there, but otherwise it's in really good condition. You got the Jessica Simpson hang tag with the gold tone. The inside has a clip closure. 
and then it's one compartment. And you have a, a pouch pocket, zip pocket, with a little bit of a mark right in there. And then nothing on the other side. Really, really cute bag for the fall and winter. I don't normally pick up Jessica Simpson, but I just thought this was too cute. Um, so for this one, it's number 18, and we are going to do $35 on it. All right, next up we have a Dooney. So this one I believe is called the Owl, A-W-L, A-W-L, I don't, Owl. <laughs> um, it is supposedly rare, I think, based upon the listings that I have found, but they weren't really um, like priced as being something rare, so I don't really know. Um, it is a longer double strap shoulder bag and I'm sorry if the sun is too annoying. Um, with the change in the season, the sun is different points. Uh, it didn't really work. <laughs> anyway, it's a black pebbled leather Dooney and Burke. Here's your Dooney on the front here. Brass hardware, longer shoulder straps. Um, the back is no pockets. It has this like you know, kind of arc to it. Um, it's in excellent condition. If you um, saw my unboxing, I had to fix up the corners. So I did do that. So corners, everything is beautiful on this bag now. And I did look this up and remember in the video, if you watched it, I said that somebody might have replaced the zipper because it says R-I-R-I, -R -I, Riri. But no, it is it is original to the bag because the other bags I found online had the same zipper. So, very good. I do believe this is a vintage bag. Um, and in the video also, I showed that there was this thing on it. I don't really know what that is. Um, so I'm just going to leave it there. And inside you have the suede interior with some leather pouch pockets there's your zip your serial numbers there and then the other side you have a slip pocket pretty clean interior black leather shoulder bag by Junian Burke number 19 65 dollars beautiful condition all right next up we have a black leather shoulder bag by M London now I picked this one up because of the stitching on the sides. I thought it was so beautiful. And I know a lot of people like a nice slouchy um, leather bag, shoulder bag. Now it's annoying me. The I don't know if that's too dark now. Um, I'm so sorry. So it's a pebbled leather shoulder bag i love the handle on it it has the stitching so stitching all the way around bottom and corners are beautiful on the back you have a zipper pocket gorgeous leather you have a um tassel on this side gold tone hardware snap closure oh my gosh I don't usually have these issues. I might have to relocate for this season. Um, you have the M London right there with a zipper pocket and slips on this side. All right, so clean inside and out, beautiful, thick, black pebbled leather shoulder bag, number 20. $45. Um, next up we have Montana West. I did show this one in the unboxing video also. This is a concealed carry purse. Uh, it's by Montana West. It is a faux leather. It has brown faux leather with this like really cool like Southwest style fabric. 
um, like a got silver tone hardware. You have a pocket on each side. Beautiful tassel. Um, handles have some of that same fabric with the um, stud details. It is a strict shoulder bag. It is in excellent condition. You have a back zipper pocket. And this is where the concealed carry is. I kept it unzipped because I, I need to take it out. So on the inside, there is a holster that is Velcroed in. <laughs> so you would keep the holster Velcroed in. You put your pistol in here and then you put it into the bag and you can keep it there we go Velcroed in and then you just would reach in to take the pistol out. Okay. So if you need measurements, let me know. This one is Montana West Concealed Carry, number 21, $40. Oh, wait. I didn't go over the inside. <laughs> you have a middle zip. Inside you have... Hey, how come it says Blazin Rocks? This was sold to me as Montana West. Okay, whatever. Blazin Rocks. Um, then you have your middle zip pocket. And then you have the two slips. Okay. Still really cool. Still number 21. Still $40. <laughs> Oh, I'm not even gonna edit that out. Okay, next up we have American Leather Company in a gorgeous brown tooled or embossed leather bag. This is a crossbody, will stay crossbody, can be adjusted, not removed, antiqued gold tone hardware. It is a small to medium size. Same on both sides. One has the American Leather Company heat embossed. It is in, <coughs> excuse me, it is in excellent condition all the way around. It has a zip on the top, opens to one compartment. It is super clean on the inside, branding zip and slips. Gorgeous brown leather embossed. American Leather Company crossbody number 22 40 bucks. Next up we have a brand new with tag. So this is new with tag and in new condition. We have a black leather Elliot Luca crossbody can be adjusted to shoulder if you would like it to be. It has gold tone hardware. Here is the tag. The male ladies here, so if um, Dallas starts barking, I'll have to stop the video. Um, this is a black metal mesh, gold tone here. It has the, nope, she already left, um, back pocket that is magnetic. Excellent condition. Like I said, it is in new condition. You turn the turn lock here, open it up. You have a pocket on the front. And then you open up here to the main compartment with a um, zipper pocket. Big phone fits, no problem. Put that back together like so. Um, it does not have a price on the tag. It just says that it is the Black Onyx Cordoba. Um, it is number 30, uh, 23, Elliot Luca, uh, shoulder to crossbody, black leather, new with tag, 40 bucks. Okay, let's pause, put up the ordering instructions, and we'll keep it moving. Okay, we have Ann Klein next. 
So number 24, this is a new with tag and in new condition, Anne Klein faux leather bag. Um, it is a green, like dark, uh, like an army green, um, snake print, faux leather, gold tone hardware. Um, it even has like a little uh, name tag thing for gift giving. It has $108 on the price tag. It's called the Satchel Two P. It says two piece satchel. Oh, probably because of the strap. Um, so it has the top handle, and this is a shoulder strap. Unless you're like five foot or under, it does sit high up. So um, shoulder strap, but it is removable. Pocket on the back. It is not stuffed, so it is structured. Um, gold tone hardware, zip on the top. And the inside you have zip branding slips. All right, gorgeous color for the fall. This is number 24 for $48. If you don't like that one, I have this one. This one is leather. I don't normally see Anne Klein bags in leather except for her vintage ones but this is a newer style. Um, this is bright yellow. It's coming off kind of like a greenish, but it is true yellow. It is leather and it is a large shoulder bag. It has a little mark there on the top. Zip pocket on the back, silver tone hardware, excellent condition bottom and corners. Handle has very, very, very little darkening right up at the top from hands. Um, the inside is a magnet closure with a middle zip section. One side has your branding and zip. You have your middle zip section. And then the other side has slip pockets. It is in excellent condition leather yellow leather large and klein shoulder bag number 25 for 55. then we have a kate spade this one is a purple saffiano leather remember saffiano leather is real leather with a coating over it to protect it from scratching so you have the top handles, gold tone hardware, a little bit of scratching, not very much. And you also have the crossbody strap. Is adjustable and removable, but will stay crossbody. Excellent condition, bottom and corners. Inside you have a zip section on each end and then a flap uh, snap flap it to your main section. So let's start at the back, unzip, clean. There is a little bit of glue residue coming through, like the color coming through of the glue residue on the top. And then you have your middle section that has the snap closure. This is where there's some staining down at the bottom. I did try to clean it out as best I can. It is still mildly stained. Um, but you do have zip and slips there. And then the front section that is zipped has nothing in it. Okay, so for this one, purple Safiano Kate Spade. Where'd my number go? <laughs> number 26, and we're gonna do this for 42, $42. Next up, we have Millie. Millie crossbody bag, M-I-L-L-Y. It is a black leather crossbody bag. Um, you can only adjust it maybe about an inch, so it will stay crossbody. Silver tone hardware, black leather with this silver, um, almost like a patent leather, and chunky silver tone hardware. 
This is a functioning zipper pocket in the front. This is a small purse, kind of like a camera bag style. It has a pocket on the back. It is in excellent condition. The inside zip closure. And you have, now there is a little bit of a stain down at the bottom. I tried to get it out. It's right there. Millie with a zipper pocket and slip. Phone fits, no problem. So for the black leather Millie crossbody bag, number 27, $45. Next up we have Michael Kors. We have a black leather shoulder bag. This is their new logo, their newest logo in gold tone. It is a black pebbled leather shoulder bag. Will stay shoulder. Little card slot on the back. I wouldn't put my card in there, but maybe a mint. Um, excellent condition on the handle and corners. Um, the inside has a snap closure. It's one compartment. This is the Michael Kors collection, top of the line. Not Michael by Michael Kors or Kors by Michael Kors. The inside you have, it's like a um, micro suede, microfiber, I don't know. But this is leather, the um, slip pocket. You can't really see in there. There we go. Two slip pockets and then this big one, and that's leather. And then all the way down there, there is some, um, I don't know what's down there. It's kind of, it kind of looks white, but I did clean out the entire bag. I vacuumed it and cleaned it out with um, stain remover wipes and spray, and it just doesn't budge. So see like in the crevices? But other than that, she's good. I always clean out the bags, vacuum, disinfect, so once you get them in the mail, they're literally ready to wear. Number 28 for the black leather Michael Kors shoulder bag, 45 bucks. Let's put you over there. All right, then if you don't like that color, I have an army green Michael Kors, and this one's a little bit larger, different shape, Excellent condition, Saffiano leather, gold tone hardware, hang tag, and Michael Kors up here. You have the top handles, and you also have the crossbody strap, which is adjustable and removable, um, stays crossbody. Back has a little slip pocket. Everything is excellent condition on this one. Gorgeous. Um, kind of like a domed satchel style. Uh, zip on the top to one compartment. Um, there is very, very, very minor staining along the top. Hardly noticeable. It's probably the glue residue coming through because when uh, manufacturers manufacture the bags, they glue everything together first, and then they put it through the sewing machines. Um, so after time, sometimes that glue discolors. Um, there's a little spot right there, otherwise she's good to go. Slip, zips, zip, slips, Michael by Michael Kors. All right, you would think with all the technology we have in the world, that they would come up with a glue that doesn't discolor over time. <laughs> Number 29 for the Army Green Saffiano Leather Michael Kors, 50. All right, then we have this cool bag. This one is by Mark Labatt. It is a crossbody or shoulder gold tone hardware. It is black leather with blue calf hair. So the bag is black leather. This front is calf hair and it's a dark blue. And it is beautiful. So you can see the color difference, black, blue. It has a gold tone zip around. It's just for looks, it does not function. The back has the branding, Mark Labatt. Paris, I think it says, yes. 
with the zip. Excellent condition. There is a little bit of tarnish on the hardware. The top is a zip closure. And inside it comes with a wristlet strap if you wanted to remove the crossbody and just have it as a wristlet. Otherwise, it is uh, marked genuine leather, zip, and a leather slip pocket. All right, really cool bag, very unique by Mark Labatt. Black leather, blue calf hair, number 30, $30, 30 on 30. Next up, we have a pink leather fossil crossbody bag in a camera bag style. It is a crossbody, will stay crossbody, can be adjusted, not removed. It is a pebbled pink leather, gold tone fossil heat stamp at the bottom, pocket on this side. Very good condition, just a little spot right here on one corner, otherwise gorgeous. It has brown, a brown leather pull with the gold tone hardware. Inside is clean, fossil, branding, zip, card slots. This is my style bag to a T. Fits phone perfectly, I love the size. I love the shape, number 31, pink leather fossil crossbody, $30. All right, we're gonna flip the page and we're gonna put up the ordering instructions and we'll keep going. Okay, up next we have a Jansport, either fanny pack or chest bag, however you wanna wear it or now it's called a belt bag. So it is the black, like canvas nylon style, like a backpack. I remember when I was in middle school and high school, you weren't cool unless you had a Jansport backpack. <laughs> and they were very expensive back then and we couldn't have them right away with all the rest of the kids. So it is quite funny how now I can purchase them and you know think back on this that they used to be like so like it was like the thing to wear so it's funny how the trends come back around right so this is a belt bag fanny pack chest bag however you want to wear it it is black and it is kind of in this like um bean shape <laughs> you have a zipper pocket here on the front and then the main compartment is up here and there's no pockets. It's just open phone fits. No problem. Um, it is adjustable the buckle and the largest is uh, 50 inches, five zero inches um, around the chest, the, the, the bum bag, whatever, however you want to do it. It's 50 inches is the largest. And obviously it can go smaller. It's number 32 for the Jansport and it's going to be 23 bucks. All right, I have this long chomp. It is a crossbody bag and apparently it's super expensive and I had no idea. I thought it was super pretty, especially if you're an equestrian person with the horse here. Um, it is a black leather a black textured leather crossbody. Um, it will stay crossbody, but it is slightly adjustable and you can also remove it. It has gold tone hardware. And then like this little outline is brown. It's black, so black with the brown. It is in excellent condition. It's like new. It has um, the front section here, which is all suede on the inside. And then you have the little secret um, in, you know, the little secret middle section. And then you have the back section, which has a leather card slot, all suede. And then here's your long chomp tag, okay? Beautiful, beautiful bag. Fits your phone, no problem. Um, 
these are listed online starting at $147 used. I'm going to offer this to you guys for $65, okay? Gorgeous. All right, <clears throat> next up we have a vintage Ingber um, black velour or velvet little clutch. I know it's gonna be hard to see and it looks super dusty because it makes it look worse on camera, but it is a velour or like a velvet. It's like a large change purse. It has the rhinestones across the top. The glue that holds them in is a little bit discolored and yellowed, but all of the rhinestones are there. It's the same on both sides. Silver tone, it has the kiss lock on top. Inside, you have your branding. You have a two slip pockets there and one on that side. It's very clean on the inside. You have a mirror woo, with the branding on it. And you also have the stinkinest cute little coin purse with silver tone. Okay, it's all beige on the inside. Absolutely the cutest thing ever. And it's number 34, and it's going to be $16. All right, now we have, <coughs> before we get into the littles, We have Alexander McQueen. This is going to be the default photo. <laughs> I love Alexander McQueen because I love the skulls. That's really it. The style is so cool, very edgy. That's what I like, but it's super de duper expensive, you guys. We went to the Alexander McQueen store in Capri, Italy, and it was insanely expensive. His stretch bracelets were $450 for a stretch bracelet. Yeah, let me just accidentally break it, and there goes $450. Anyway, I thrifted this. I thought about keeping it. I might if nobody buys it. But stay with me because I'm going to convert it for you into a crossbody bag, okay? So this is a beige, I know it's coming off silver. It is a beige, kind of with a metallic sheen to it, textured leather. These are all silver tone studs and you have the silver tone um, skull with the rhinestone eyes and mouth. It is in excellent condition. It is a little envelope clutch. To open it, you go like that, open it up. This is all leather. Inside you have Alexander McQueen, made in Italy. And then on this side, you have the serial number. There are two little holes right here where the staple was. You can't see them from this side, but you can see it from that side thrift stores. Okay, so beautiful condition. Now, I know a lot of you won't want this because it's a clutch. Nobody really carries a clutch, right? I'm going to help you out with that. So I purchased myself a silver tone chain strap. I connected the edges, the ends, and what you do is you put that in like this, Fold it over, close the bag, and now you have a crossbody. Okay. Now, obviously, be careful when you're opening this, if you're wearing it still, okay? Or even when you're not wearing it, be careful because the chain can come out because it's not, you know, it's not connected. But I figured I'd add this because um, you guys might not like it if it's just a clutch. I've done this with a purse before because um, I really liked a purse, but it was only a clutch. So I bought a chain and did this with it, and there you go. Now, 
These envelope clutches are online used for $300 and up. $300 and up. I'm not gonna do that to you guys. I'm gonna offer this, it's number 35 for 200. And you get, obviously, the chain with it. You don't have to use it if you don't want it, but you're going to get it with it anyway. Um, so 200 And if you're within the U.S., I will um, include shipping. So shipping will be included if you're in the U.S. If you're outside the U.S., you just have to pay the normal shipping charge. Um, uh, so number 35, Alexander McQueen in a beige kind of metallic -y leather. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to put you... I'll put you up here. Okay. Now, also, I thrifted. I did not even know that this is a very expensive brand. Um, this is by Veri, V E R V E A R I. I will put up some information right here that I found comps on. Insanely expensive because this is genuine crocodile and genuine snake. Um, we're going to do good deals. Okay. So this is brown croc, real croc leather, real snake print in a beige, real snake skin, I should say. Sorry. Excellent condition. This is a little clutch. Open this up. <coughs> That's my number. You have the branding and a slip pocket. It does have a zip closure and a phone does fit. Beautiful vintage, real croc and snake, Viri, number 36, and I'm going to do $25. All right, then we have Chicos. Where's my Chicos? Here you are. Chicos, a little calf hair pouch. It is not a wristlet. It doesn't have the strap. You can get a wristlet strap if you want. It is a teeny little pouch. Great for lipsticks, chapsticks. It's in a beige and black calf hair. Calf hair. Hair on hide, however you want to call it. And then you unzip. There we go. And inside it says Chico's. Okay, great for little lippies. I will fix that. Just needs to be ran through a little bit. All right, number 37 for the Chico's beige and black calf hair, 12 bucks. Then we have a coach in like an off-white and brown leather wristlet, <laughs> leather wristlet, pebbled leather, brown leather, hang tag, same on both sides, silver tone hardware, Nothing on the inside. Really nice condition. Number 38, $18. Next up, we have this one by Jade Tribe. This is a wristlet, brown leather wristlet. I love, I picked this up because of all of these. I love all this, little bells, leather. Jade Tribe is actually also pretty expensive, but I'm not gonna you know, let that affect you guys. This is all like um, embroidered and like ribbons and little like texture, textured sewing, sewed on pieces, really, really pretty. It is a wristlet as a YKK zipper, which, you know, shows, um, quality. Inside is suede, jade tribe, zipper pocket. All right, um, if you want to see if a phone will fit, it does. So wristlet or just a really cute pouch, jade tribe, number 39, $14. Okay, last item is a Dooney and Burke card holder. Um, it is in like a denim, dark denim and blue, right? Looks blue to me. Um, 
ID holder. It just holds one card. So number 40 is the Dunian Burke ID holder. And it's going to be 12 bucks. All right, let's do the shoes. I do have two clothing items that I totally forgot about. And then we will open the um, America's Thrift Supply box. So first up, we have two pairs of brand new Vince Camuto shoes. So I did number the shoes. I figured it would make it a little easier. So number 41, you get the box. These are a size nine and a half. So they have the, protect the protector on here. So obviously you take that off and it's a cute little bow. Um, very cute for the fall. It's like a, uh, like a straw, woven straw with a coral um, gold and white stripe. They are brand spanking new. They are a size nine and a half. I probably wouldn't recommend a wide foot to fit in here. Um, they are medium width, but it just kind of looks like some, I have kind of a wide foot and I don't think my foot would be comfortable in here. So nine and a half, not, not recommended for a wide foot, brand new. And these are going to be $30, three zero number 41 and then I have these these are the Vince Camuto signature Vince Camuto signature line which is the more expensive line these are a size 9 brand new these have like a gold leather um, toe with the gold like kind of striped fabric. I do see a little glue, that's glue residue right there. You might be able to just pick that off. Um, and then this one, it looks like it has a little rub right here. You could only see it in certain light, otherwise you can't tell. Um, but these are also brand new, never worn. These are size nine and they are going to be $30 as well. And where did I put the number for this one? Number 42. Number 42, $30, size nine. Okay. And it comes with the box. Uh, next up we have Ugg. Size 11, look at how cool these blue, um, this blue fabric is. Size 11, really nice condition. Bright cobalt blue with a dark blue suede. Size 11, number 43, really nice condition. I don't really, I mean, somebody might have worn these like once or twice. Super nice. Size 11, number 43, and we're gonna do these for 25, 25 bucks. We have another pair of Uggs. These are size nine. They are a brown suede with this really cool, like, I don't know what this is. So if it's like wood or straw maybe really pretty little like booty with the inside zips. These are size nine, excellent condition. And we're gonna do these for $23 and they're number 44. Next up we have perfect for the holiday season. They even go great with this shirt, oh my gosh. If nobody buys these, I'm probably gonna keep them. Um, they are ASOS. They are a velvet or velour in this like cranberry color. So cute. Um, these are a size, they fit like a seven and a half. So they um, were probably only worn once. They're a UK five, which equals an eight, but I tried them on an I'm an eight and they're a little tight. So I think a seven and a half would fit better. And they are so 
pretty cranberry color. Um, ASOS, these are number 45, and I'm gonna do them for 20 bucks. All right, we're gonna flip the page, and next up we have Fry. These boots are amazing. Again, another great color with this. Um, these are Fry, these are in a brown leather, almost like a chestnut brown leather. They are absolutely beautiful. They have the side zip. They are a little bit distressed. You know, Fry does the distressed leather. They smell like amazing leather. See how they have a little bit of a distressing, different color, darkened, lightened, um, a couple little scratches. Like that's just the Fry look. Um, the, the heel is two and a half inches. These are a size eight. They are eight and a, 18 and a half inches tall and 16 and a half inches around the calf. I recently sold a pair of Tory Burch boots online on Poshmark and I put the calf circumference because I know that that's a big deal to some people. I put the calf circumference in the listing, right? She gives me three stars because the calves are too tight. Clearly you didn't read the description then and measure your calf to make sure it would fit. Like, anyway, they're in really, really good condition. You can see the leather on the inside, the bottoms, you know, it's just some uh, wear, light wear to the bottoms. Uh, so 16 and a half inches around the calf, 18 and a half inches tall, two and a half inches heel, size eight, $35.00. Number <coughs> 46, gorgeous. Next up we have a pair of L deck. These are like a really good um, hiking or walking shoe. These are Australian, I believe. <coughs> They're in a beautiful tan suede. And I, I mean, if they were worn, it was only one time. These are in a women's nine. Excellent, excellent condition. Women's nine, suede. And um, these are number 47 for $25. Next up we have sloggers. These actually do really well for me on Poshmark and eBay. Um, these are super cute because they are purple paw prints. How adorable. So these are like rain boots, or if you have like outdoor work you need to do, gardening, stuff like that. They are rubber. They are size eight. They are in really good condition. And these are number 48, and they're gonna be 18 bucks. Running out of room, running out of room. Okay, really quick, I have two little jackets. First up is by Z Cavarici. And it is a beautiful, like, distressed, faded blue corduroy button up little jacket. Okay, so it has like the little elbow patch, it has like a blue and white fade to it. It is corduroy, it has the button up, it has pockets. Um, it is a size large, it's cotton and spandex. So the armpit to armpit is 20 inches. So if you wanna know if that fits, find something in your closet, an article, like a shirt that you absolutely love and fits you perfect. Lay it down on your bed and take a measuring tape and measure from armpit to armpit, flat. And that is your size. So this one is 20 inches, armpit to armpit. 23 inches length and 25 inch on the sleeves. Okay, size large, number 49, 15 bucks. It's like a blue and white fade. Then we have this cute denim jacket by Faded Glory. Um, it is, it kind of has like a white and 
uh, like a denim white and brown distressing to it. Can you kind of see that? All right, very cute. It has the little frilled edges. Zip up. This one is a size medium. It is 20, uh, 19 inches across pit to pit, 20, uh, 22 inches length and 24 inch sleeve. All right, size medium, faded glory, number 50, 12 bucks with a little bit of denim white and brown distressing. Okay, Whew, that was a workout. Let me put up the ordering instructions for the last time and we'll get into the America's Thrift Supply Hey, okay, you guys, let's finish up the show. If you go to americasthriftsupply.com, pick out a mystery box, go to checkout, above your total will be a spot for a promo or discount code. If you enter Kristen, you will save 15% on all your purchases. They do now have um, a separate section of all individual items that you can purchase. My code is not valid on those. It's just for the mystery boxes. Um, they also now offer a bundle, um, build a bundle. You can build, I think it's 10 or 20 items. It might be more than that, maybe even 30 items. And then they give you 10% off, 20% off, you know, however many items you choose. Um, I will be opening a box next week about that, so stay tuned. Until then, let's open this one. This is the purse supply box, brand name purse supply box. And you're supposed to get five brand name purses. Um, sometimes they give you six or seven if, you know, one or two of them is kind of doo-doo. Um, but you're guaranteed five. I ordered this on September 20th. They did raise the price a little bit, but it's still a really good deal. Um, so with my own 15% off code, because I don't get anything else, I don't get a commission or anything else, plus the $9.99 shipping, it came to $60.99. Let's do first peaks. It is a very heavy box, so I'll be interested to see what is so heavy. Um, this is a faux leather Strata. Um, it, it is in a dark green. I mean, it's cute, little shoulder bag. You have the zip pockets here on the front. It seems like it's in good shape. The handles are cute, the little twisted handles. Silver tone hardware, zip across the top. All right, it's, um, it's very pilled. And we have a receipt. It's very pilled on the inside. It just needs a sweater shave. But otherwise, it's not in bad condition at all. Um, as is, 10 bucks, and I won't bring it back next week for clearance. So 10 bucks as is, one shot only. Ooh, that brown one looks like it's leather. So let's keep going. Ooh, this one's leather too. What are you? Cole Haan, okay. So this is a beautiful snake print leather. Again, great with my outfit. Um, this is really pretty. So this is like a gray, green, and black beige snake print um, tote. There is some rub, but it honestly, it matches the pattern. So I don't think that's too big of a, too big of a deal. It matches, the rub matches the pattern. So it's not too noticeable. You have the brown, uh, the tan leather, the hang tag, you have the top handles. So the only thing with the top handles is the edge coat has cracked, so it's open. But I mean, there's no actual damage to the strap, just the edge coat has split, but it's fine otherwise. Snap closure. Um, I mean, all right. It's a little dirty, but it's not terrible. And there's just no crossbody strap. So it's definitely a little dirty in there. Not terrible. I will wipe it down. You can buy a crossbody strap or just hold it like this. Um, let's just do 20 bucks, 20 bucks. All 
All right, let's get the little Vera out of the way. This is so cute and it looks like it's in really good condition. It's got, um, this is a dark blue with light blue, green, white, yellow, silver tone, wallet. Oh, it's new. It's new with the tag. $70. Who spent $70 on this? Holy crap. All right. Open that up. Oh yeah, she's new, baby. She's a new one. And then you got the zip around. Okay, she good. So um, for this one, 15, 15 bucks. All right, let's look at what this brown one is. Oh yeah, this is a nice leather. Ooh, what are you? I-L-I, -I. okay, I-L-I -I makes great leather, very underrated brand. It does have a lot of, actually that might be part of the, that might be how the bag is, that like veining. There is a spot right there though. And like down here, see how it's darker? So this, with this type of leather, if you condition it, it's going to change the color of the leather. So I'm not going to do anything with this bag. It's going to be an as is, um, because even if I do a leather conditioning or leather cleaning wipe, the wetness will change the leather, okay? Because this is an untreated leather. Um, the top of the bag has a little bit of darkening from the oils of your hands. The inside is suede and it's, I mean, I guess that's okay. The inside looks pretty good. It's just a little bit dark on the top from the hands, but it's actually in not bad condition at all. So, all right. Um, it's just a little, just a little flawed at the corners, but let's do this one for 20 bucks as well. All right, as is. I'm not gonna touch this one with anything because it's going to change the color. 20 bucks as is. Let's take another peek. There's one in a bag. This one is faux leather. It is Jessica Simpson. Let me unfold you. It is beige. It's kind of like an ivory, actually. Yeah. Light gray, got the little pouch here, perforated. There is a little bit of wear to the corners. It's not terrible at all. Back pocket is good. Straps have a little bit of peeling right there. Oh yeah, and kind of a lot on that one. Um, zip top. Let me just check for doo doo. Okay, so we have a middle zip, zip pocket, and slips. So it's not terrible. There's just a little bit of peeling on the straps and a little bit of wear on the corners. So let's do this one for ten dollars as is. Not bringing it back next week. One time only. Ten bucks. As is. Ooh. Okay. I love this brand. Okay, so this one, I forget the name of it. Um, Merino, Orlandi, Orlandi, Merino Orlandi, I think it is. Expensive too. Gorgeous. So I don't think it's new just because it was in the bag. I think it was just maybe for protection. Um, it is a dark brown and, and like chestnut brown shoulder bag. Nice, thick leather. If you like thick leather, this is for you. Um, oh my gosh. It smells like beautiful leather. It looks like it can be adjusted. See how this has to come up? I don't know what happened. Oh, there we go. So it looks like it can be adjusted to crossbody possibly. 
Um, I don't know why it looks like that. <laughs> Probably something that I can't see off the top of my head. Okay, so this has a little pocket. I always love the hardware. Gorgeous. Um, bottom and corners look good. Maybe a little bit of darkening. You have a back zip. Looks good. Can you just hear that thick leather? Oh my gosh. Let's pop the top open. So it just needs to be wiped down on the top here. And the inside looks good. There's a zip pocket. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just not sure what's going on with this. Um, but we will do this one for 35. 35 will do a good deal. Gorgeous. Smells amazing. And that's it. So would you guys think, I thought it was a good box. Um, a little bit of issues with each of the items, but you know, they're not supposed to be perfect. So I am not upset with the box at all. Let me know what you guys think. It was a good box. I can't wait to open the 10 piece bundle next week. Stay tuned. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up. Remember all the links for this jewelry. Everything will be after the pending and sold list. So when you see the pending and sold list, it'll be right under that in the same comment. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.